Hey everybody, Steven here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about something I've been thinking about a lot lately and wanting to do more of on, on this channel, which is things that I talk about with my clients um, and taking that and then just essentially translating it over here to you, YouTube. It's a little bit different because there's no dialogue direct unless I do like a live video, but I mean, I still wanna hear from people in the comment section, but this video primarily is, it's okay to take breaks, right? And I know for a lot of people, sometimes they're working out six days a week. So the notion of ever taking a break um, just doesn't seem like something that they can do. Uh, it's not something that they're allowed to do. And I also understand for some people, like the gym is their stress relief. It's their rock, right? It's, it's their anchor, as the rock likes to say, right? But there's gonna come a time where you're gonna need to take a break for whatever reason from the gym. And this is where I want to clarify kind of my thoughts behind this. So Katie Bowman is the creator and the person that runs Restorative Exercise and um, insanely smart woman. And something I've taken from her modality is the notion of movement snacks. So just trying to move as often as you can versus setting aside just the one hour at the gym, why not just try to double down and just take little movement snacks here and there? And within that, we need to quantify what is movement, right? We think of exercise as movement, but then we kind of disregard a lot of other things outside of that. I'm sitting on the floor, I'm crisscross applesauce right now. This is movement because at a certain point, even during this video, I'm most likely going to shift to another position. So while I'm watching TV at the house, I could be sitting on the floor, I could be stretching, right? I could be doing soft tissue work. I could be doing, if I'm doing um, functional range conditioning or mobility work or whatever it may be, I could be doing those other things. So I've talked about this before, but if we have like this, this circle of what we consider to be movement, exercise is really just a small dot within this. There's a bunch of other things that quantify and are, are, are movement, right? Or actual other movement patterns that we're doing that we're not really thinking about. And I think we have to just really shift our, our thinking behind that and think about these other things, right? So thinking about movement as more than just the gym is the first place to start with where I'm going with this, right? The second thing in it's okay to take breaks is, cause I'm gonna have to do this and this is why I'm talking about it. Cause personally, we're about to have our second kid. I'm going to be in the gym training myself much less than I normally do. So I normally uh, weight lift or weight train three to four times a week. And then I do some type of movement practice another two days a week. And on the, the last day, I'm either doing recovery work so I'm still moving, right? Or I'm just literally doing nothing. And I, that's my plan. But I'm gonna to have to draw that back. It may be one or two days a week weightlifting. And then the rest of the time, this is where I have to focus on getting my movement stacks and shifting my approach with all of this. So for me, that's gonna be doing functional range conditioning at the house, right? And I'll put links to these different modalities so you guys can go check them out for yourself. But I'm certified in that, so I'll be doing functional range conditioning, my mobility work. I'll be doing restorative exercise stuff right, some stretching and things like that. So getting the movement snacks in, doing FRC at the house, I do my morning routine, which is an FRC drill that I, that I do. I double down, I do it with clients when I can. If I'm at my desk working on video stuff, I'll sit there and I'll do, we call them controlled articular rotations. I'll do my neck cars, right? I'll do all these little things. And this on your part, if you don't know what these things are, like I said, I'm gonna put links for it. You can go and actually start rummaging through this information and figuring out what's gonna work best for you. My approach may not work for you, right? In terms of, I'm gonna do restorative exercise and FRC and all these other things. It can be anything. Maybe I'm gonna go do, just practice Tai Chi in my house, or I'm gonna practice my martial arts drills or whatever it may be. I'm gonna go do jujitsu instead of go to the gym. I'm gonna go for a walk instead of go to the gym, right? I'm gonna go jog around my neighborhood, anything like that, where it's, I can get 10 minutes here, five minutes there, whatever it may be. Just simply just stretching, right? So. I'll be doing the FRC. And then the other thing that I like to think about is something from um, Rafe Kelly with Evolve Move Play, which is getting back to just play, 
playing with my son, right? Wrestling around, that's movement, right? Playing tag, whatever it may be, right? Playing with my, my daughter that's about to be born. So rolling around on the floor with her, right? Playing games. These things are movement also. So that's where taking a break from the gym is just from the weightlifting stuff and going to that facility. It's not a break from movement, right? And I think that's the most important part with this is that we're not actually stopping our movement, right? We just maybe cut back on certain things, which also then allows us to prioritize what are the big movements that I need to do when I do go to the gym. I think strength training is corrective. I don't think you need to be doing correctable, co correctives all the time if you're, we call, I call it corrective purgatory and that's from a that colleague, that's one of the things that he calls it and I love that, that notion, right? You're always doing correctives. We don't always want to do that. We eventually want to add a strength training element to it, lifting heavy weights, right? Whether that's isometrics, the actual weights, lifting actual weights. Well, I mean, you could do powerlifting, whatever it may be, but you'll be like, all right, these are the main things I need to do. This is the biggest bang for my buck, right? Thinking about the 80-20 rule. What's the 20% that you can do that gives you 80% of the results that you want? So today, for instance, I did a 38 minute workout in here. This was the second one for the week and then I'm done for this week because my wife is about to go into labor. So I did leg press with the sled and it wasn't anything super heavy. It was more just about the contraction, getting the blood flow and then the sled was just pushing the weight. And then I layer on other modalities with that DNS, dynamic neuromuscular stabilization and, and something called grip approach. And with those, I'm just thinking about the other things, how are my shoulders, right? How can I make this more effective? Because I'm not going to be in here a long time just doing rounds and rounds and rounds. And that was literally just down and back for the sled. So leg press was 20 to 25 reps, and then I pushed the sled one time. I did three rounds. After that, it was goblet squats, and then I did a single leg lunge off of the suspension trainer here. It wasn't anything crazy, right? Now, once I got to the goblet squat and the single leg lunge, my reps changed. I went more for an eight to 10. I made sure that the weight was moderate heavy, but with that too, I was focusing on the quality of the contraction in the muscle and the amount of irradiation that I had, the amount of tension and structure that I create internally, right? So with that, I did two rounds of this. That's five rounds total of everything. That's not a lot, right? I, I did my normal warm-up routine with my um, cars, their controlled articular rotations, and then I went into this stuff. You maybe have a different approach, right? A little bit of soft tissue, stretching, warm-up stuff, and then I go do deadlifts and whatever it is, right? I do strength training, then this. Or I do bodybuilding, then I do this. Or I do some variation of a 20 minute CrossFit workout and then I do this, right? You'll understand that these are the things that you need to do and for right now, maybe we actually have to dismiss other things. Maybe you don't need to do as many bicep curls or isolating movements, right? I think you need to focus on the things that are gonna serve you the most. I always think back to Dewey Nelson who did my FRC certification is like, if I tell you what you need to do without knowing you, right? That's answering the question before I've even heard what the question actually is, right? I'm, I'm giving the answer before I know what the question is. So with this, what do you do the most? What are the movements that are going to serve you the most, right? Focusing on those because you're only going to go one to two times a week. And then the rest of the time, movement snacks here and there, right? There's so many times that people are sitting around watching TV and they're just they're like, oh, no, I just need to relax. Well, why not hop on the ground and stretch a little bit too, right? Why not do a little bit of soft tissue, right? Why not find the thing that is going to actually serve you, right? Also, in other things that you're doing, right? Maybe I have a desk job, so I need to be stretching my back more, right? Or my wrists, or whatever it may be. So that's really where my thought is right now. Hopefully, this provides some context for anybody that's searching for is it okay to take a break from the gym and it absolutely is because keep in mind the gym is only a small portion or percentage of what you actually do in terms of movement focus on the other percentage right and the things that you can do that are serving you right 
that are helping you long term with this. So that is it. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. If there's questions or anything that maybe I wasn't clear with or maybe I can point you in the right direction and I can help you, that would be phenomenal. So definitely let me know in the comment sections with that. Thank you so much for watching.